Welcome to PM Coding. In today's tutorial, we will use CSS transitions to create links which change their gradients on Hover. To illustrate, this is what we will be building. Here I have a link which has a gradient underline. When I hover over the link, the gradient's colors smoothly transition. The same happens with this button. On Hover, the gradient changes. So let's get started. I have my project folder called CSS Transitions opened in Visual Studio Code. Right now there are no files inside it, so I am adding the two we need. These are index.html and style.css. First I am adding the markup to the HTML file. I am inserting the head tag where I am changing the site name to PM Coding and linking the style sheet. Then, to the body, I am adding an h1 and a paragraph with two links inside. Every link should have its own style, so I am assigning a class to each. To the first, I am adding a class called link, and to the second, I am adding a class called button. This is it for the markup, so let's move on to the CSS. To begin with, I am importing the font Poppins from Google Fonts. I will link it below in the description in case you would like to use the same one. Next, I am specifying that the body should use this font for the text by adding font family Poppins. Then, I am removing the underline from the links by selecting all of them and specifying text decoration as none. Now, let's style the first link with the class of link. I am giving it the color black and the position relative. The reason I am adding a position of relative here is because I want to use pseudo selectors to create the underline. These underlines should then be positioned relative to the main element with the class of link. Don't worry, this will all make more sense once we have written our code. Next, I want to create the initial underline we see for the link when we do not hover over it. For this, I am going to use the pseudo selector colon colon before. Inside it, I have to specify a content for it to be visible on the screen. I am assigning content an empty string. Next, I want to position the content right below the link, so I am adding a position of absolute. Then, I am saying bottom minus 3 pixels, so that it starts 3 pixels away from the bottom of the link element. It should also start 0 pixels from the left. I want it to be as wide as the element, so I am adding its width as 100%. The height should be 2 pixels. Now we only need to give it a background so it can be seen. As a background, I am specifying a linear gradient. The gradient should go from the left to the right, so I am adding 90 degrees as the first argument. Then I can add the two colors, which in my case are blue-violet and chartreuse. You can of course change these arguments to change the look of the gradient. Finally, I am giving the content a border radius of 3 pixels so that the edges are rounded. Now if I open the project in the browser and I zoom in, you can see that there is a gradient underline below the link, but it does not yet do anything when I hover over it. I want this underline to disappear on hover. I will explain why in a few minutes, but first let's add the code for this, I am assigning opacity 1 and the transition of opacity 0.2 seconds linear to before. On hover, this should change to 0. I am adding the selector dot link colon hover colon colon before and then inside I am specifying the property opacity 1. Now if I hover, the underline disappears. My goal is to create another underline in the after selector. This underline will initially be invisible with an opacity of 0, but when I hover over the link, its opacity should transition to 1. So basically, the gradient in before disappears and the gradient in after appears, creating the smooth change. Unfortunately, you cannot transition background image itself, so in order to get this effect, one option is to use this trick with the opacity. Let's implement it. I am using the selector dot link colon colon after and I am copy pasting the rules from the before selector inside. Some minor changes are however necessary. First of all, I am changing the colors of the gradients. 
The first color I am setting as chartreuse, but the second one should be cornflower blue. The opacity should be zero initially. Then in the hover state, I am setting opacity as one. Let's have a look at the result. Now the underline transitions. The styling for the button is pretty similar. First, I am defining some basic rules for the button class. I am giving it a color of white, a padding of 0.5 rem, 1 rem, and the position relative. For the before and after pseudo classes and the hover states, I am copy pasting the code from the link class and then I am making some changes. First, I am changing the dot link class to dot button class. Then for the bottom, I am now adding zero as I want it to start right at the bottom of the element. The height should be equal to the element's height. I am also increasing the border radius to 1.5 rem. Let's have a look. As you can see, the text is not visible now. That is because the content in after and before is covering the text. To fix this, we need to add a z-index of minus one to both. This will ensure that the text is always visible. Now let's see if everything works. And it does. This is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I am also linking the complete code in the description for you, so you can access it through my GitHub. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll try to reply. Thank you for watching and have a great day!